So hello there, a new day, a new project, and uh, what we have to do today is to open this lovely ABM A31. Uh, it's a laptop from 2003, and it's looking like uh, new, I may say. We really want to see what's inside there, what the guts in, and the way it's built like a tank, I may say. Now it's a really professional uh, laptop for those days, of course, but it's still alive and it's working like a dream. Okay, so let's start this mantle. First we took off the battery. There is an original IBM battery lithium, still working great. Then we have a top over here and under it should be the modem card and the network card and also the Wi-Fi card. And over there under the top it's the memories place then we have to take the memories out just for be sure it's not something wrong happening and uh, get prepared for having the hard disk out so there is a screw on the right side as you may see and the hard drive it's out well this is a Toshiba I think uh, 30 giga on 4200 rpm still working great now we should be able to have the keyboard out so we have six screws in total in the corners and there we are the keyboard it's out take care with the connector don't push it too hard there is a connector over there to the main board and that's a IBM a classic touch keyboard really nice for writing and now get ready for having out the CD-ROM and we have a DVD reader GDR881N and there is the floppy on the left side in the bayon and this is an IBM 1.44 megabytes of floppy. There is no Wi-Fi card, but the antennas are there. There are the cable for the Wi-Fi antennas. And now we have a bracket, a white bracket. This one should be taken off. Yeah, like that. And behind we have or under we have the LCD connector gently take it out and the Wi-Fi is cable too and there are four screws behind the screen and there we are the screen it's out the LCD it's off now let's have the CPU bracket off there are five screws it should be nice to have a kind of order to remember the way the screws are getting in and out to put them exactly in the same way back and the fan look there and the heat sink it's clean amazing clean just a little bit of dust and now let's have the dvd and the floppy slots out from the case there are four screws and a middle bracket for keeping those two together and now the floppy slot on the left and there we are it's out to have the dvd out we have to take off the modem and the network card from behind right there and let's get the screws off and uh, release the DVD slot there is place also for a Wi-Fi card yes there it is that's the DVD slot and uh, now we should get ready to get the PCMCA card to have access to the main board we have to take the screws from the serial and parallel port behind right there like that and that release the main board there are a lot of screws I may say 
Okay, there's the serial port, and then the parallel is coming. And finally, the main board, it's released and we can take it out. Okay, the goal of this is to clean a little bit the, the dust and to see uh, if it's any breaks or something anyway. The machine is working great. This is the main board. There are a couple of connectors over there for the loudspeakers. And the BIOS battery was replaced too. And amazing, it's pretty clean. There is a heat sink over there. And that needs a little bit of attention, but it's okay. It's, it's pretty clean. And the pad also. There is no need for replacement. Let's put the motherboard back. And let's have everything back in place. Be really careful about the cables. And on the left, there are a lot of cables over there. And there is a metal bracket uh, keeping the wires down. Be careful with that because you can, you can break the cables very easy. Now we have the fan back and the floppy disk bay. Right. Just put it back in the same order you dismantle. Don't forget to put the fan connector back on the main board. The fan was cleaned and the heat sink was cleaned too by the dust. And there we have the base and of course the DVD and the floppy disk, the break it in between. And uh, now we have that Y piece. You can see the Wi-Fi cables over there. They need to be transferred to the other side. But before anything else, let's have the screws back to the screen. There are four screws behind the screen. There we had the Wi-Fi cables. Now we tied the screen in place. Like I said, four screws, and there we are. Let's have the modem on the network card and all the other uh, screws around the case. And let's get ready for some tests. As soon as everything is in place and checked for integrity, I may say. Okay. Now I have the DVD in and it's working nice. Now the floppy it's in too. Perfect. The memory is in place and all the top cover over there. It's time to have the Memories cover and let's put the battery back. Okay, the moment of true. Is it still working? It's still still alive. The battery is charged anyway, so it should be okay. So on. And there we are, IBM logo on the screen, the BIOS, it's OK. The screen, it's not so bright because it's on battery and uh, automatically when it's on battery, the brightness goes down. The goal of this dismantle was to check if everything is in place, to clean up the fan, of course, and to have a new thermal paste to CPU. And it's looking like everything is fine. It's back online and it's working as it should. Thank you for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any question, don't hesitate to ask. I'll do the best to have your answer. Until the new project, uh, don't forget to have fun and be safe. Bye bye.